Air Media has proven for many organizations to be an invaluable tool for presentation, collaboration, and content sharing from wireless devices. One of the most common questions we get about Air Media is, how do I deploy it so that both enterprise users and guests can use it? This basically boils down to the type of network infrastructure you have at your enterprise. Typically, you have separate VLANs, one for your guests and one for your corporate users. In this case, the best approach is to put Air Media on its own third VLAN. Your guests and corporate networks should be configured to have inbound access to the Air Media devices, but the Air Media VLAN should not have outbound access. This ensures that your guests won't be able to access your corporate network. To make it as simple as possible for users to connect to Air Media, we recommend you use a DNS server and simple, friendly names for your Air Media devices. For instance, use room 235 rather than an IP address. The second and more secure method to deploy your guest network is to use a physical air gap. In other words, there's no physical path between your guest and corporate networks. However, this method presents some access issues. Your corporate users won't be able to access air media on the guest network, and your guests won't be able to access it on your corporate network. To address this issue, you can install one air media device on your guest network and one on the corporate network. Then, use an HDMI switch to provide a simple way for users to connect while still maintaining network security. Once air media is deployed, you may wonder if there are easier ways for users to connect. The good news is the answer is yes. We have a deployable application that streamlines the connection process. Basically, your users no longer have to go to the website to log in and download the Air Media client. Instead, they can connect directly. There are two ways to connect directly to Air Media, present files or room lists. To connect using a present file, you simply double click on the file. Present files can be hosted on a local web server such as rooms.yourdomain.com. Presenters can go there, find their room, click, and start presenting. The second way to connect to Air Media is to use a room list, which is basically a collection of present files. When the user opens Air Media, he or she is presented with a larger list, a number of rooms, and a search box. Simply type in a few characters in the search box, and the room they're in will appear. Double click, and they're connected. These lists can also be deployed using a domain policy or Active Directory. This way, if you know where presenters are located, you simplify their connection process by giving them a customized list. So now that you've deployed hundreds of Air Media devices at your site, how do you manage them? With Air Media Firmware version 1.1, you can connect Air Media to SNMP to directly monitor and manage your devices. Now you can use your favorite network management tools to control and configure any aspect of Air Media. We also have a small utility named the Air Media Firmware Update Utility that makes it simple to update as many as 50 Air Media devices to the latest firmware at once. It requires no installation, and it reads the room lists you've already created. To learn more about how to deploy Air Media, please see our deployment guide, available at crestron.com slash airmedia.